Lesson 4.1 Properties of Exponent These properties of exponent are really important to calculating or simplifying other exponential uh, forms. Also, it is basic knowledge for learning rational exponent as well. So, we will talk about uh, several properties of exponent from page 53. If you look at page 53, part A, it asks all different properties here. So we want to review those properties before solving other questions. So first, what is the a to the r times a to the s? Before watching this video, you may just guess and then check this answer with this video lecture. So this means a to the r plus s. The reason is if we make maybe a squared times a third, so a squared means a times a, a cubed means a times a times a, therefore this means a times a times a times a times a, so it looks like we are a multiply a five times. Okay, the shortcut is you just make from here a to the two plus three, which is a to the fifth power. So that's how we how we got this property. Now second one here. What is the a to the r to the s power? Yes, this property will be a to the r times s. One example, a squared to the third power, which means you are multiplying a squared three different times. As we already talked about, a squared means a times a, so you can rewrite this expression a times a, a times a, and a times a. Looks like we are multiplying a six different times. The shortcut is you just multiply these two and this become a to the two times three, which means a to the sixth power. Now third one, which is the a b to the r power. What's this property? Yes, this will be a to the r b to the r. Look at one example. Let's say x, y to the third power, which means you are multiplying x, y, and x, y, and x, y. So now we gather same term together, then this become x times x times x, and y times y times y, so it become x cubed and y cubed. Shortcut, just distribute this power to the both x and y then become x cubed and then y cubed. Now, fourth property. A to the negative r. So this is the very important and then popular property and you will utilize it uh, very often while, while you are pursuing calculus courses. So this will be 1 over a to the r power. In order to explain this one, so I'm going to make some kind of a series. So what's the 10 to the 5th power? This is the 100,000. And 10 to the 4th power is 10,000. And 10 cubed is 1,000. Something like that, right? Okay, so I'm going to make a little bit more space for this one. Hold on. So now, 10 square becomes 100 and 10 1 power equal to 10 here. Okay, then please look at some pattern. So can you find the common simple operation from here to here and here to here? Also here to here and here to here. 
If you think just divide by 10, then that is correct. So like uh, when you find the 10 to the fourth power, we divide 10 to the fifth power divided by 10, then you will get this one. The same procedure, 10 cubed means 10 fourth divided by 10, so it becomes 1,000. 10 square, 1,000 divided by 10, so 100. 10, so 10 one power, so 100 divided by 10, so it becomes 10 here. Which means 10 to the zero power means 10 divided by 10, so equal to 1. So go a little further. 10 to the negative 1, which is 1 divided by 10, which means 1 over 10. And 10 to the negative 2 means 1 over 10 divided by 10, which means 1 over 10 multiplied 1 over 10, so become 1 over 100 over 1 over 10 square. So based on this procedure, we can generate two different properties. So whenever we have a to the negative r, like this, then as you see, we can just make a fraction and then make a positive power. And then it also reflects on property g. g was, g is a to zero power. So as you see, anything to the zero power become one because it means uh, a divided by a. That's the same meaning here. So it becomes one basically. Okay. Then now property e which is a over b to the r. So it is similar to property 3 or c. So it becomes a to the r over b to the r. Then property f, a to the r over a to the s, which is a to the r minus s. Example, maybe a fifth over a six square then become one, two, three, four, five a's over one, two. So as you see, the common a cancelled out, so three left here. Then what's the shortcut? So you subtract this from five. So in this case, a to the five minus two becomes a to the third power. But property f, we can generate two different ways though. So here, a to the r over a to the s. If r is bigger than s, then you just follow a to the r minus s. Then what if r is less than s? Then this becomes, uh, I'm going to show the exam example first a cube over a7 here. Then as you see, this become a to the 3 minus 7 here. So become a to the negative 4. Using property d, then you will rewrite this 1 over a to the fourth power. Looks like you may subtract this power from this power basically. And then moving everything to the denominator part. So now we can say if degree r is smaller than degree s, I'm going to make that 1 over a to the s minus r. Okay?